The times that I had this weekend, it definitely showed what I've been working on. You know, I, ideally the last two months, I've really focused on having a better 1500. Obviously it kind of paid off, but because I've been working on the endurance and kind of the stroke for that, it really hurt my 400 freestyle yesterday. But uh, obviously I've been working on 1500 and it paid off. So that's good. Basically working on distance for stroke. Um, I've thrown the drag suit on for a lot of my workouts and I've been trying to stretch it out, really adding some strength in, which is, you know, probably it, it kind of explains why I've been able to close so fast, having a little bit extra strength and stroke. Mm. Um, but so it really paid off for a longer race, like, you know, the 800 to 1500, but obviously with a, a slower tempo that I've been working in practice, it, it definitely hurt, you know, opening speed of like a former freestyle. I'm, I'm like an all or nothing kind of guy. So I really, I really went hard on it. I said, I'm going to slow the tempo down. We're going to stretch it out, see how that works out. And it's just, it's slowly been getting better and better and better over the last few, few weeks. And, you know, obviously I got a lot more room to go. So uh, yeah. a lot more room to improve. So I'm looking forward to that too. It's always been a strength of mine. Um, having that little extra speed, I think is just kind of a side effect of um, what I've been working on. Just kind of strength in the pole. And uh, it's good to be able to have that back. It's always been a strength. And over the last couple of years, it was, you know, it, it, it kind of faded. But now it's feel, I feel like it's coming back. And it's actually, you know, it's a lot of fun to be able to finish that way. Where do you think you are now in the lead up to trials versus where you were 12 months ago at this point? Um, I think I'm in a better spot. I definitely do. Um, selfishly speaking, as far as my swimming career goes, uh, taking a break and having this extra year was very beneficial. You know, uh, that's what I see right now. So, you know, it's it's fortunate that it, that worked out for me that way. But obviously, in the big scope of things that, you know, there's a lot more to play. I think the biggest thing was that I was missing. I was just missing something, you know, some things weren't working out. And I had it. I just was kind of running out of time to figure out what changes need to be made. And having a whole extra year, especially with like no meets, you know, it, it gave me a lot of time to kind of break down the patterns and, you know, what I've been done, doing in training, how it's reflecting in racing and kind of had a, a little bit of time to reset. 